Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a little tour through the FPV ground station I've created for my first person view remote control aircraft. Hey guys, glad you could join me today. Today we're going to take a look at the FPV ground station I've built. This will be for some upcoming projects in my FPV aircraft. We'll move this over to the bench and we'll take a look through item by item. I hope this helps someone create their own someday. Well here's the FPV ground station open on the bench. Guys, this was a reused case. I was using this for ultrasonic uh, condition monitoring with some custom made microphones. And uh, I decided to repurpose this case for the FPV system. Uh, it worked out pretty good. It's definitely not as laid out as I'd want it to be, but hey, this this will work for all intents and purposes. First off, before I start, guys, what I would advise, uh, if you're on a budget, you can go ahead and get one of these style. These are uh, an eight channel, 5.8 gigahertz receiver and transmitter setup. They're very reasonable in price. You can see the model names here. You can Google them. I would advise not going with this style um, if you're like me and have the Fat Shark goggles. Uh, these are not compatible. These are only eight channels. But what you can get is this style, and this is what we're going to use in our FPV station. This is a 32 channel, 5.8 gigahertz receiver. And this is compatible with just about every FPV system out there. So what it allows you to do is receive the 5.8, pump it out to here, but also you can be on the same channel with the Fat Shark goggles. We'll open those in a second. Uh, without having them plumbed in, you can use this style of the 8 channel and then you can run the secondary output directly into your goggles, but then you're going to be tethered to your ground station, which may or may not be what you're after depending on your setup. But uh, spend the extra little bit of money and go with the 32 channel, guys. It works really, really good. So overall, this is what we've got here. We've got some auxiliary equipment. We've got a battery for our fat sharks. We've got some cables. We've got the remote control for our monitor and a remote control for our SD card recorder. And uh, we'll just start by firing this up. So we plug the battery in and what we get this is our TFT color monitor. This is a automotive monitor bought from Amazon. Uh, very price reasonable. Now we're on to our input that is feeding from a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter, which is behind me. We'll do the whole separate other video on that. You can see my heads up display is broadcasting on there. We'll see if we can move it around. There's the camera. The camera we're using in this case, I will do a separate video on these because I'm super impressed with them. These are a 700 TV line CCD or C CCTV camera. Uh, this is a Sony underneath it all, but uh, supposedly it's probably a knockoff. Uh, I forget the price I paid for these. I'll throw it up here. Uh, eBay specials. I took a chance on them. I'm super pleased. These have been better than the Fat Shark guys. So this is your camera that's on your plane, broadcasting down to here, through the autopilot, through the OSD, and I'm not sure whether this will come up on the camera, but you might be able to see the artificial horizon here moving. That's me tilting it. So we've got our downlink established, guys. This unit here we mentioned is the SD card recorder. This is a DVR. So anything that this receives, when it gets a good signal, this is from Hobby King, it starts recording immediately and records to the SD card. Everything the downlink receives. Pretty handy if you were to lose your model, you would be able to go back with your telemetry, tell what angle and how far you are away, or you can switch if you just choose to fly with your GPS coordinates on your screen at all times. If you lost your model, you'd be able to replay this and just go back and find out where your model went down. Uh, with the remote, we can, we can work with it. We can stop and play. 
uh, through our save files, play it here, or pop the SD card out into a laptop. Uh, the rat's nest of wires is a little ugly, but basically what you do is take your trans your receiver, move it out onto a tripod, or stick it to the back of this case. Uh, I'll Velcro mine here for now, uh, one during testing, but eventually I'll move it out onto a standalone, and we'll use a different antenna here than the, the small dipole that come with it. Uh, we can get a lot better reception with something else. But we move this outside the case as far away as we can get, and our ground station does nothing but record. Uh, other people at the flying site can view this if they want and, and check out and see what's going on. What I'm using for my downlink that I'm viewing is a separate standalone receiver. I'm using the Fat Shark goggles, which are on the same frequency, with a circular polarized antenna and I'm going to see everything that this sees, same frequency, same receiver, and I'll be able to see it constantly. Um, if you decided to do a fancier antenna array down at the base station, you might be more tempted to wire this to here, and then you don't have to have multiple high-gain antennas. For what I do, these circular polarized antennas are plenty good enough. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with them so far, and my early testing, super happy. So that stays in the case. This is our power cell that's feeding this right now. This is a 3.3 amp hour three cell battery. This will feed the ground station for hours and hours and hours and hours. Tons and tons of use out of it. Works great. In here we have some various other odds and ends. So if I decided to hook into cigarette lighter power into the car, I can do so. Uh, this is one of the security cameras uh, it records to an SD card it's uh, designed as a spy camera these are really handy just to stick on your model to get another outside point of view they're dirt cheap to buy not very good resolution not going to be downlinked but when you're done you peel it off pretty cool for a downward view I stick these on facing down sometimes pretty handy guys that's about the extent of it um, We'll do a couple of shots close up here. So I know a video of a screen is not going to turn out terribly well, but this is our heads up display. So we don't have a good GPS lock in the basement, but uh, allows you to see everything. The only intrusion onto this screen is from the SD card DVR. Shows a record icon here, but other than that, we have our full downlink. Everything's available for others to watch. Uh, really, really happy with this setup. This is the, the Cyclops Tornado OSD unit. And uh, one thing of note is the SD card recorder allows us to avoid blue screen on these cheap TFT automotive monitors. If we were to lose signal uh, from the downlink, the SD card recorder is in series and it's what's outputting here so it will continue to send a video output even if we've gone to static that avoids blue screen um, really really important people pay a lot of money for these high-end um, FPV monitors but uh, if you're putting something in series that uh, offers a, a continual output you don't have to worry about it going to blue screen if you're flying by this setup or teeing into your headset so guys that's about it for this setup what I'll do is I'll show in the upcoming videos I'll show a little bit more on uh, on the camera and the uh, the Cyclops OSD with autopilot this thing is multiple videos all in itself to show you how the the autopilot the the full control return to home all the good stuff works and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it I think it's going to work really good for our FPV plane uh, the EPP FPV I showed earlier in a in a previous video so this downlink will be able to record everything we send from the sky and hopefully we can navigate and fly using the fat shark goggles and we'll experiment with some antennas I uh, hope you enjoyed this guys. I hope it's of value to someone. If it is, please consider a, a comment down below or a thumbs up or subscribe. Really enjoy hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching.